The fire with rock was built in the late 1980s with a surface path and cycleway stretching for 7.5 kilometers along the river Dong, from the center of Sheffield to the Meadowhall Shopping Center. To begin with, we start the walk at Blount Street Bridge. This presents a problematic design such as the rubbish bin is located too close to the bench. Going along the river, we see some stone piles installed by artists. It gives the place more interactions between the walkers and the river, as well as swimming ducks and various species of spontaneous vegetations are thriving beside the river. Cartwright Bridge showed up and carried the walkway across the river under the historic Wicker Fire Dot Victoria Station, which was closed in 1970. It is a black colored S shaped bridge made with steels. Also, the darkness of the bridge underneath Victoria Station and the spider decorations gives a mysterious atmosphere. The warm light lightens the dark, giving us a feeling of refuge. Most importantly, the bridge shortens the footpath, which meets the main goal of the Five Weeks Walk project to have a restored, accessible river that the people of Sheffield could discover and enjoy. Travel us away from the river along the Victoria Station. For a fair distance, we arrive at our first weir, Walk Me Weir. The just position of noisy river and traffic sounds let us experience the people nature boundary, criticized by landscape architects Elizabeth Mayer and Sylvia Barnett. After the first weir, we arrived at Bailey Bridge. A bridge that is made with stainless steel intersects the river and then the path follows along the river. The plants act as a rooftop shed. Compared to the time when Fire Wears Walk first opened, the vines grew over the round arched pergola, which gives a shade to the users. Just like what Rosenzweig said, vegetation is a kind of soft temporal media, experiencing the dynamic qualities of growth, movement, and constant. According to Tuan, the most intense aesthetic experiences of nature are likely to catch one by surprise. This walk offers many breathtaking moments when you see a grey heron or a bright blue common kingfisher. While we were getting to the second weir, we went under Norfolk Bridge and also passed the railway next to the Levison Street. Then we arrived at the third section of the walk. The noises and the pungent smell coming from the ventilation makes the thresholds of the Burton Weir repulsive. When we reached the second weir, we saw the Norfolk Bridge again which is opposite to our view. Eventually, the way leads us to the Salmon Pastures Nature Reserve. Moving through the park, the mature trees created a barrier to protect the biodiversity from any disturbances. Also, as Elizabeth Mayer has said, not only do we move through landscape, the landscape moves, changes, declines. Compare the two times when we walk to the space, we saw the change of vegetation throughout the time of the year. Around the end of the section, the path turned muddy with clear bicycle traces, which indicates that cyclists are the main users of the walk. Unfortunately, the next section was closed. Therefore, we moved on to the fourth section by a shortcut. After that, we arrived at the third weir named Sanderson's Weir. As we first walk in, the vines all over the trees catch our eyes, which bring a sense of mystery. We walk along the river, the water reflection turned the water surface into an impressive mirror. The establishment of fish pass for salmon and eel. The fish attract fishermen to come fishing. Then trimming the vegetation and collecting litters by volunteers and managers show good management of the five wheels walk. Hereafter, it is the tunnels under the bridge. It is quite dark and we even saw a lot of spider webs when we were passing it. Let's move to the fourth weir. We continued the walk along the river and we saw the new hall bridge in the distance with red diamond railing. After a few minutes walk, we arrived at the fourth weir, right side weir. The footpaths that we walk were also combined with the cycling path. Then we moved into a dance in mutual grove. This is the tunnel that leads the way to Meadowhall. By following the path, we saw some management in the pathway. 
And finally, we arrived the fifth weir, Hatfield Weir, which is next to Meadow Hall Shopping Center. Finally, we finished our long, surprising and healing walk in Meadow Hall. The journey showed us that industry and nature can coexist together.